Hi friends and welcome. Uh, before we get started tonight, I want to mention to you that I am having a giveaway. If you look for my last video, I think it's titled Time for a Giveaway. Follow the instructions there and, and get signed up if you will. Um, no obligation, you just have to, of course, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel. So uh, we'll do that maybe in a week or so. We'll draw a name for that. We'll have a giveaway. All right, let me tell you what I'm doing tonight. This is a five by seven panel, and as you can see, it's a landscape I started, didn't love, turned upside down, threw a little paint on to cover it up so it didn't distract us too bad. Uh, one reason is I needed a five by seven panel because this is what I'm doing. I have this frame that holds five five by seven panels horizontally. So um, not saying, I've done three of the five paintings so far see if I can show you what I'm doing here. I'll angle you down. Maybe you can see. Okay, see the three pairs of shoes on the floor there? Hopefully I'm not, I can reach and do this. I've got a frame that holds, oh, it's not going to be easy to do, to position these. You get the gist of it though, probably, right? <laughs> Holds five five by seven paintings. And there's three of them. You know how I love shoes if you follow me. So um, I have, they're all high heels. I did the second and third pair today. Again, they're not signed. I'm not sure they're finished. And I'm going to do obviously two more pair. I, uh, I set this pair up to do tonight. It's kind of a, satiny blue pair. Kind of interesting, I think. I tried to think about position too and try to set them in different positions. 5x7 is a small format to, you know, get a whole pair of shoes in, but uh, I'm doing my best. I'm, sometimes they run off a little bit, and that's okay too. Um, and I have one more. I bought all these shoes a while back at a thrift store, and you know, eventually when I get tired of painting them, I'll, I'll donate them again back to the store. Let me show you the number, the fifth pair. They are wild and crazy. Aren't those fun? Big platform. So that'd be Vera Wang. That'd be the last pair I do, number five. And again, I'll try to position them different. And all different sizes. I think some of them might fit me if I was interested, but uh, I'm not really a high heel person much anymore. I'm into comfort. The older you get, the harder it gets to walk around high heels, I think. So, again, this was a landscape, but nothing wrong with it. I just never completed the foreground, and um, I needed a panel. I just decided to go ahead and I scraped off anything that felt a little thick and uh, put a little crimson on there because it was on my brush so the other ones all the backgrounds are different they're all grayed colors I think I thought initially I might do all the backgrounds the same you know and if I get to the end and I find out it's distracting to have them different I guess I could mix up a big puddle and repaint the backgrounds of all of them so they all felt the same and maybe I'll feel like I need to do that at the end so uh, but this is what we're doing so we'll take our time and we'll sketch it on I'm using my view catcher to you know I kind of set it up for what I thought looked pretty much like a five by seven panel and I'm going to look through that and again there's no brush I'm not completely sure I got everything out I need, so bear with me. I went and painted today with with uh, my Monday groups. And actually, actually, when I did those two paintings was today. I took the shoes with me and took a light. So uh, I thought I was pretty much set up here because I've I had my paints out. We might actually, you know, put a little phthalo out here even, which I use once in a while because it's such a gorgeous blue. 
it might be pretty in those shoes. So welcome, welcome if you're new to the channel. Um, if you're an artist, tell me about that, you know, and tell me maybe what you're working on or where you're from or um, I'm always interested. Get to know people a little bit better. Definitely interested to know if you're an artist and what medium you work in too. I work in water mixable oils, which truly are just oils if you've never used them. I like them. I transition to them to work in uh, something less toxic so I don't have medium, so I don't have solvent out here in front of me. That was the reason I, I made the switch. Didn't notice much difference at all. I like them a lot, but let me mention it. I do use quality ones. I do use Cobra or Duo are pretty good. And I'm sure there are other quality brands, but um, not to put a brand down, but I've heard some of them can be sticky. And I think that again, probably is the quality of the brand or you have to be careful with mediums too. Some of the mediums will really affect your paint. And I, I do, for the longest time I used no medium, but for a while I have been using the Gamblin solvent-free fluid. I dip into that and use a little bit of that, but I didn't put anything in them forever. A little tiny bit of water for thinning if I needed. The paints are really meant the consistency is meant to use right out of the tube so all right let's look through here again it's a tiny canvas you know for all this information so the shoes will pretty much cover it top to bottom looks like the one shoe is going to go way over to there let me see where the toe of it's going to hit And every time I pick this thing up and put it down, my subject moves. So that's what's challenging painting from life. But I think it's a good challenge. The other shoe looks like it goes about over to there. All right, we'll just um, start off and try to sketch them on. And we won't start painting until we think we have a pretty good sketch. And I'm using transparent red oxide and ultramarine blue. Looks like I've got it pretty much to the blue side right now, which is good. I mean, that'll work out well with our, um, our shoes are blue. I just like shoes. I was explaining, I did a TikTok video here recently and uh, the last show I did, matter of fact, I took several paintings of shoes with me and I had somebody say what is it with you and shoes you know I've thought about that I just uh, I think shoes are part of a person they're you know we pick them out first because we generally love the look of them and the feel of them on our foot and uh, like I say they they go with us through all important walks of life. I mean, we wear them to weddings, we wear them to funerals. Um, they feel very personal to me. Um, I also mentioned that maybe you've seen it, maybe you haven't, the um, photo of the Holocaust Museum where they have all those shoes behind the glass wall. That, it's shocking. It really is. And it feels Again, looking at that, I mean, I just feel, you feel a connection to the people. So yeah, I like shoes. I, <laughs> I've done a lot of baby shoes. They're probably the thing I like the most, the little tiny precious shoes. Okay, that heel may be back too far. Just taking our time and sketching on the shoes. I mean, I, I used to rush a lot more 
to the paint, but you don't want to rush the paint. And I kind of, I enjoy this process too. You know, if you don't get this right, your painting's not going to be right. So take your time on this part of it. To you, it may not look like I'm taking my time because I guess everything I do is kind of fast, but... And I do like Impressionism, so I'm not, you know, doing a very, very particular painting. I'm, I want it loose. And I've got my little scraping tool here. This is by Catalyst. I um, use it in my, sometimes in my painting process too. Use it to remove paint, whether I'm sketching or I'm painting or. Let's look where that heel it comes actually, I think it's about here. But yeah, when I bought the painting, I don't know, that's what came to mind is the five pairs of shoes. I've done, actually if you look on here, there's a video, gosh, I think I've probably done other high heels on here, but I did a, a brown pair of boots on here of my husband's a while back, and uh, it really ended up being one of my favorite paintings. You might look for that. And we've got a light on them. Um, so we got a shadow that kind of cast in front of this one. And of course the heel is going to make a shadow in that heel. So I want to make sure I have the darkest areas in first before we get into color. Pretty nice day here today. I think we we're in the 50s. Tomorrow is supposed to be 60, I think. I love it. Spring's coming. At least for us. I don't know where you live. I'm in Ohio. And these might not be the most exciting of all of them with them being blue you know, solid blue. All right, that might be enough information. So I think we'll start off with the, the lightest part of the shoe we see, which is gonna be, um, you know, some of the insides Actually, the lightest light I see is the edge of this heel and uh, inside this toe. So we'll wipe some of that off. And it's a yellowy kind of color.
and this brush is a little fat for what we're doing so even the bottom of the heel is light those are actually our lightest colors you see how chunky that is here but I'll be cleaning that up you know when we paint the background in now inside the shoe is lighter too but it's a kind of a silvery color so we'll take some blue I think I'll get out some cobalt I tend to work mostly I say mostly in a limited palette a warm and cool of the primaries in white I do have transparent red oxide on here and Indian yellow and occasionally I do throw some other things on here I mean you but a limited palette if you're learning is the way to go you know stick with that as long as you can okay so again it's kind of silvery so that's a grayed kind of color um, so I've mixed a little blue and white I'm going to mix a little yellow into part of it which of course turns it green and I'm going to lighten that up a little bit more because there are some sections inside of there that's brighter you know value is the number one thing and if you paint you know that and I'm sure you've heard that so you want to get the value right most of all whether or not you match these colors exact the value is the thing trying to get that try to read that correctly and get the inside of that shoe as dark as it should be I think that's pretty good all right so we'll dip into a tiny bit of solvent And I think a lot more about brush work these days than I used to, trying not to overwork my, my paint. And if you've got some color underneath it, then you don't have to work so hard to uh, cover things up. I'm going a little darker inside the shoe it feels a little darker to me but there is a little bit of very bright light right there so we'll paint around that You know, and if this doesn't feel right when we get further along, we'll be redoing it. You know and we've got to later on put our dark line in here which defines that insole all right we'll, we'll come back to we'll get that done we'll come back to that all right now we're going to mix up some blue for the outside and I want it to be interesting
and I'm trying to mix up three values for the of the blue. I know as artists we if I you know you're at a workshop and a teacher makes a color and everybody's like how'd you make that color we're always very interested in that um, but a lot of teachers will tell you I made it out of a little bit of everything they just don't feel it's that important exactly how you arrived at that um, with a limited palette a lot of times you, you do you have all three primaries it's blue it's red it's yellow that's what's in there but they kind of, you know, a lot of them dismiss that, that it's just not that important. But we do that. I do that too sometimes. I'm curious how they made a certain color. All right, we'll start out with the lightest part of the shoe that we see first. Okay. There's nothing on this shoe quite as light as this one. This one's kind of... And I say it over and over, but when you mix these three primaries, you know, you can um, intermix them and get stuff in between the two. And again, this brush is pretty fluffy for some of this, so, you know, we may have to clean it up with a palette knife or when we do the background. It's looking at the shape.
And it's like anything you paint, you got to decide how you want it to be, how loose, how tight, because you could just pick and pick and pick at something, you know, if that's what you want. That is probably not what I will be doing. Okay, as I can see a little light up in there, which might be good to help explain that toe. And the soul is actually um, light. So I'm going to have to clean up that heel, of course. Going to hang a show tomorrow um, down at the Cincinnati Women's Art Club. The Brush and Palette Painters is another group that I paint with in the summer, and uh, we'll have an opening there Saturday, Saturday afternoon. I don't plan to be at the opening, but it'll hang up all. It'll be there all month if you're interested in seeing it and live in the area. Yeah, last year, you know, things kind of calmed down from the horrible 2020, but I didn't enter any shows. I waited till this year, and I've entered a couple of them here lately, so waiting to hear. Entered the Women's Art Club show, which is a big juried show, and I entered the Evendale show, so... Hopefully I'll get in both. I'll let you know. That may be too bright for over there. I have a feeling it is.
I'm putting some of that pattern in here. We'll see how we feel about that. Yeah, depending on the texture of the shoes, sometimes, you know, you have some nice, like the red ones I did today are, are shiny. So I, you know, hit some highlights on that. I'm not seeing that on these because of the fabric, you know, they're satiny. Let's mix up a gray for the background and we're just going to take all three primaries blue yellow and red like I said right now all three of those paintings have different color backgrounds and I may find that I Again, want to change that? I don't know. They definitely one leans. They definitely are all very different. I'm looking at them right now. You know, uh, I have to decide that it might look nice again with them all being in the same frame. If maybe they were all blue gray background, I'm not sure. So. No rush, though. I'm not near there yet. All right, let's uh, switch to a brush that's a little bit bigger. I think first thing we'll do is place some shadows in there. toe actually kind of sets up in the air off of the off of the ground all right so I've mixed up a muddy color a gray it's just the three primaries let me look about, see where the heel hits, about there. And I don't mind at all, you know, some of this background color shows through. the shape of these shoes now as I'm I always say when you do the background it gives you the opportunity to clean up your shapes you know
we may have to put that shadow back in. I'm going to paint through it for now. So let me know if you're interested in <clears throat> watching me paint that last pair. Be fun to get the whole thing completed and framed. Looking at the shapes of these shoes to see where they feel off. Feels a little intense. Um, away from them. I'm a little close.
Okay, wait a minute. I'm looking at shapes here. Uh, I feel like that needs to maybe go in a little bit. Let's clean our brush. Put a few of those lines on there. Get that shape up in there, you know how high heels are. Pretty sharp. And as you can see, I knocked down those highlights. They were, they just felt too bright. And again, these are satin, so there's no real, you know, real bright highlights any place. This is our brightest right there. All right, let's see how they look. Check this angle here. That's kind of what it does. It goes into the heel. This one, the heels, I'm not seeing the top of the heel like here. It's back in there. All right, I'm going to stop there for now. Um, I'm not going to sign it because it's really wet. Actually, what I think I'll do is I'll just lay it down on the floor here and we'll try to show you what it looks like in the series here. I'm trying not to get any paint on my frame though. Not perfect, of course, but it'll give you an idea. And there's going to be glare because of the ceiling light, but all right. All right, so there's four of the five. Again, they need sign. They probably need some little tweaks, and they are not set in the correct position necessarily. They're just laying there, and I laid the frame on top. So, uh, Yeah, I think it's fun. I think it really would be fun for a, a teenager's room or a closet. A lot of women are into very beautiful closets now. My sister-in-law has her closet is basically a room. I think she's got a chandelier in there, a big ottoman in the middle. 
you know, wouldn't something like this be cute in there? Um, show you a pie here. There's this other shoe painting that I just see the four pairs of high heels. I just entered that in a show and the one next to it. Those are the two that went into the women's show. So fingers crossed. Okay, well, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know if you'd like me to watch, but, uh, watch me paint pair number five. If so, I'll do that for too long. All right, this was fun. Like and subscribe, and, and don't forget to enter for the giveaway. Go back to my last video. I think it's titled, It's Time for a Giveaway. Um, and just follow the instructions. It's a short video. It tells you what to do. All right, you have a wonderful evening. Thanks for joining me again. Good night.